tough day out there. Uh, did see you getting the whole shot though, and looks like you had a really strong start to the day. Um, conditions are changing. Kind of walk us through this race for you. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I obviously came here to win, and I had a game plan. Um, I feel like I worked really hard to come back from all my injuries and setbacks and surgery this year, and um, I was feeling really confident after winning Pan Ams last weekend. Uh, I wanted to get the whole shot and then back off right away, and, and I did, and I felt fine. Matt Davies came by, uh, you know, right before the sand, and we rolled away together, and the way I envisioned things going was that there'd at least be someone strong who would drive it that I could follow and settle in, and I hoped I'd be strong enough to stay with that rider and then use my skill and tactics to make a move later in the race. But Matt, Matt rode me right off his wheel. Uh, halfway through, uh, first lap, he just got me in a turn, and I was hanging by a thread, and that was it. Uh, once I blew, uh, I never found a rhythm really until the last lap. I just couldn't settle down. I never recovered from that. So Matt was absolutely the best guy today. Um, and this was not, nothing I could do about it. I rode the best race I had in my legs today. So congrats to Matt and, and Roger and the other guys. Like they all, it was impressive. Talk to us about the race conditions because I know you had did pre ride earlier today. It's obviously warming up for us. And you mentioned off camera that you're getting warm and you were overdressed for the start. How did that affect your performance and your tire selection for the race? Yeah, that's right. I mean, early early in the day, it's it's frozen and file treads are the right choice. And then the top layer starts to melt a little bit and a mixed conditions tire is good. And that's what I went with. Um, it started to thaw out a little bit more than that. And pretty soon, early in the race, I realized I was on the wrong tires. Um, once I settled down, I did switch to MUDs, uh, to Vittoria Wets for the last couple laps. And as soon as I did that, uh, I started making better turns and feeling more confident. And so I don't usually make mistakes like that. And I definitely did today, but it, essentially it didn't matter. If I had the legs to pedal back up, I would have pedaled back up and I couldn't do it. So I think, I think mud tires ended up being the best choice for you know, the middle of the afternoon here once the top layer really thought out. What does this mean for you in terms of your future racing career? I know in, in the past you said, I'm kind of taking a step back, I'm looking to not necessarily retire, but you know, not be pushing yourself at the level that you haven't been pushing yourself over the last few years. What are you thinking in the future? Yeah, I mean, I'm, my racing age is 50, there's no career, right? That stopped over five years ago, and uh, I race for my own personal enjoyment and mental health and um, just to have goals to go out the door every day and, and to make exercise a, a part of my life to manage, you know, just, just mental health challenges, to be a healthy person, be a role model for my kid. Um, and of course I like to set goals and that helps me get through the day, but um, I don't have to be the national champion for it to be successful. Um, I'm really excited to go home and spend the winter with my kid. Uh, and, and parent and ride bikes with him and that's really what it's all about and I'm glad to have him as an activity partner and he likes to ride bikes and you know that's really motivating for me so yeah the, my career is as a parent not as a bike racer. Nice well we'll see him at the start line in a few years and enjoy your off season. Thanks.